this is my tricopter I've been working on. I'm almost done with it. I just need to buy some new speed controls because these ones aren't working out. But what I wanted to show you today is the landing gear I made for it. This is my own homemade PVC landing gear. What I did was bought a four inch section of PVC pipe. This one's actually a coupler because I didn't need that much. And then I cut really thin sections out of it to match my arm uh, thickness, which is a half inch in this case. So I cut the slice out of it. And then what I got here is a bending jig that I made. You can see before even bending it, I cut a one quarter section out of it, out of that thin section. And the next thing I did was heated up a pot of water and I put that little section that was left in the pot of water boiling. I boiled it for about a minute and a half and after about a minute and a half that piece gets flexible enough like a like a piece of like a piece of rubber. And then you can see what I did next is I got these arrows right here. I bent the piece, put it in this slot going from this arrow to wherever it goes up here. I think it stopped right about here. Made sure I have enough flat mounting space. This right here goes right there. I made this jig using a, just scrap pieces of wood. I cut this inner circle by using a pencil in there. And then I spaced these spacers out. This is a scrap piece of the pipe. Put that in there and I glued these blocks in place. And that's a straight block up there. So after after you take it out of the boiling water and put it in here, I let it sit for about five or ten minutes. And then once you take it out, it's pretty much ready to bolt onto here. See I got them zip tied on this. This is the RC Explorer Tricopter. Um, yeah, there's plans for this one online. I've been following his plans. I'm hoping because I've never flown a, an RC helicopter or, or a multi-copter before that these bigger training gear will hopefully save me some parts and hopefully prevent some prop, prop strikes. They're really flexible. And it bounces pretty good on there. It's like a pogo stick.